earning the admiration of guest judge Ricky Martin. Mad respect, because someone else would have said, I'm gone, I'm out of here. Actress Candace Cameron Bure also had a tough week battling emotional wounds, so much so that she and her partner Mark Ballas sought counseling to help her with her insecurities. I am a perfectionist. But Bure made her comeback of the season, wowing the judges with her sexy Argentine tango. The game is on. The seven couples then split up to form two teams for a group dance. Team Vito. And Team Loca, which, due to Amy's injury, had to be judged under pre-recorded dress rehearsal. Still, the Loca dominated. That was insane. I have never seen a tighter group performance ever. In the end, it was Real Housewife Mimi Leakes who tangled off the dance floor for good. To stand here and compete with Olympians with no dance experience at all, I am proud of Mimi Leakes. For Good Morning America, I'm Cameron Matheson, ABC News, Los Angeles. Welcome, you guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> now, you know, you know what's... It, I'm watching, all right? Amy went to the hospital. She hurt her back. Danica fractured her rib. Charlie hurt his knee doing a pasta doble. Yeah. Well, it's you not dancing with alive. the stars. It's football. <laughs> it's not <laughs> football. The injuries are real. I mean, dancing is a hard thing that go, your body goes through. So, you know, sometimes if you're not prepared, even if you're the most prepared, you still get injured. I mean, like, for example, Eva Merrill actually broke her toe when she danced with Al. Yeah. yeah. So we'll figure that one out. And you put so much into it, and we could see all that emotion kind of come up to the surface last night. Yeah, you know what? It was a, a great, amazing, positive experience for me. And um, I felt really blessed to be there. I made friends for life. I felt like it was amazing that me, you know, fabulous at 40 and competing with 20-year-olds and Olympians, um, I thought that was amazing. Yeah. And you said you were surrounded by athletes, and yet I saw you surrounded by men. Yes, getting ready I was for surrounded that by all these dance. fabulous guys, and Tony wanted to take his shirt off every night. <laughs> like last night. Like, you were here. She was like, okay, shirt off. I've never heard complaints about the shirt coming off. I have to say, Michael, you know, at 40, you, you try to, like, show people yeah. exactly what a man's supposed to look like. <laughs> All these youngies running around. Yeah. Like, hey. It was shocking last night when Twitter fans wanted you to take your shirt off. Yeah. You, know, yes. you know, for Argentine tango, it was a little bit like, oh, really? Wow. Okay. And then in the, in the studio, they started screaming, take Get off. I was like, okay, now I feel like I'm in a different type of place. <laughs> It, it somehow all worked. Do you feel like this season is sort of the, the there are the least clothes? I, I mean, I feel yes. <laughs> yes, I think they all got jealous that I was taking my shirt off, and they all decided to take all it. Every, the next thing is off. pants off. That's oh, what we need to do. <laughs> We've seen that before too. Why did happen? Yeah, let me just say really quickly. Yeah. Great job. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're you so you amazing. Nice. I went further than I could have ever imagined. I'm so proud of myself. And we're proud of you. We're proud of you, both of you. Congratulations. You, now, I'm um, coming up.